In your Texas headlines tonight, newly released body cam footage of a Texas Army National Guard caught smuggling a migrant across the border. News Nation's Ali Bradley is standing by with exclusive reporting. Ali, we're seeing more arrests of guardsmen. What is enticing them from going from upholding the law to allegedly breaking it? Yeah, another Texas National Guard soldier busted at the border for trying to smuggle an illegal immigrant further into the United States. Now, this is the third incident involving a military personnel in Texas since April. So this really underscores the issues right now with Texas's border security forces. So take a look here at this exclusive dash cam video obtained by News Nation. Kinney County Sheriff's deputies arresting this part-time member of the Army National Guard while he was attempting to transport an illegal immigrant from Mexico deeper into the United States. Sources tell News Nation that the man being smuggled is a semi-professional bull rider in Mexico. He had no criminal history when we looked into him. 19-year-old Brian Bermea, he was the one behind the wheel. He lives in San Antonio and he was not on an active mission and he has never served under Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star. He is facing felony human smuggling charges for moving just one single individual. His case, though, just the latest where service members are drawn into smuggling. Back in April, Brandon Broadhead took a $5,000 offer from a cartel member to smuggle people illegally. He picked up two illegal immigrants in Eagle Pass, but his attempt was interrupted by an unexpected Border Patrol checkpoint in Kinney County. He told us that he joined the military to pay for school. He claims he got roped into smuggling when his mom became sick and he wanted to help out financially. Just before that, also in Kinney County, 26-year-old Savion Johnson, who was stationed in Eagle Pass under the governor's Operation Lone Star, was charged with attempting to smuggle an illegal immigrant across the border. Authorities allege Johnson tried to avoid that Border Patrol checkpoint that actually <laughs> caught Broadhead earlier on. That sparked a high-speed pursuit. Armed at the time, Johnson said that he was promised up to $6,000 for his role in the smuggling operation. Sheriff Brad Coe says while he does not sympathize with these criminals, he says the guard's low pay might be playing a role in this dangerous game. Because of the pay with the National Guard and the current financial situation everybody's in, everybody's looking to make that extra buck to help make that car payment or keep make, make rent payments, buy groceries, etc. Because no matter what Biden says, our economy sucks. So how do these people get roped into this criminal smuggling element? Well, it can either be through word of mouth, it can be through their friends, or it can be through social media, like TikTok, where the human smuggling facilitator will put out an ad like this one, promising clean routes and thousands of dollars, some of them promising no cops or a safe return. Once the person responds, the facilitator will take the conversation to an encrypted act like Signal or WhatsApp. They then get instructions, including a pin drop of where to go to pick up their human cargo. Oftentimes, they don't even know what they're picking up when they head down from all over the country to do it. Now, legislation is working its way through the courts, but if Governor Greg Abbott has his way, these human smugglers will end up facing 10 years minimum behind bars for that criminal act. Back to you. Allie Bradley with the exclusive. Thank you.